Today we are going to discuss the SK850 regeneration or regen, which is the exhaust cleaning processes. There are four different types of regen, self regeneration, assisted regeneration, reset regeneration, and stationary regeneration. Self, assist, and reset are performed during normal operation. When stationary regen is required, the machine must be taken out of service. This will be explained later. Regen can be inhibited if necessary. It is not recommended due to causing issues with normal regen processes. Only operate with regen inhibited if absolutely in a critical area, inside or next to heat sensitive materials where high heat exhaust temperatures are not permissible. Self regen occurs during normal operation and the operator is not required to do anything except run the unit under a load and above idle. Assist regen also occurs with no action from the operator, but the operator might hear a slight engine tone change as the ECU controls the air throttling valve to increase the engine's temperature. During the reset regen, again no action is required from the operator. The high exhaust temp light will come on the display due to fuel being injected into the exhaust stream. This light is located in the lower left corner of the information box on the display. This will occur every 100 hours or if the load is not sufficient for successful regeneration in the assist regen mode. If you have the unit in the inhibited state and the DPF light is flashing, it is requesting a regen, but you have manually inhibited it and need to move to a suitable location and uninhibit it so it can carry out the regen process. When the regen symbol comes on the display solid, the unit is requesting a stationary regen. Before activating a stationary regen, follow the steps to ensure there are no active codes that are inadvertently causing the unit to request regen. Push the center menu button. Use the down arrow to scroll down to the diagnostic menu. Press OK. Select Active. Press OK. View Codes. At this point you will see any active codes and will need to call a service technician at your local Ditchwich dealer. If there are no active codes, use the return arrow to exit to the main menu screen and press the button below the tier 4 and continue. To begin a stationary regen, move the unit to a suitable location outside on a level surface away from flammable materials and out of traffic. The unit will be stationary for 20 to 35 minutes and the exhaust temperatures will rise. After the unit is in a suitable location, the operator must set the park brake move the throttle to low idle and all controls in neutral. Confirm the unit does not have a check engine light and the coolant temperature is above 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Also make sure the unit has at least one-fourth tank of fuel. To start a stationary regen, press the re tier 4 button, scroll down to select request DPF regen, Press OK. Select Yes. Stay near the unit until the process is complete. The next steps are controlled by the ECU. The exhaust high temp light will come on. Engine will throttle up. Exhaust temps will near 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. Engine tone will change. Hydraulic load is put on the unit by the ECU. When complete, the engine will return to idle and all regen lights will be off. It is not recommended to interrupt the regen once it is started. In the event of an emergency, however, the regen process can be aborted by moving the throttle out of low idle, releasing the park brake, or shutting the ignition off. After the stationary regen has been performed, it may not be done again for 50 hours. The ECU will not allow it. If the regen process is not successful or is inhibited, the particulate matter level 
in the DPF rises above normal levels, the engine will be derated in steps and re will require a trained service technician come out and reset the unit using Smart Assist. This is recovery regen. This can take as long as three hours to perform the regen process. It can also require the DPF being replaced and the new serial number of the new DPF entered in the ECU. As with all Tier 4 engines, it is not recommended to allow the units to set and idle for long periods and require working under loaded conditions to get temps high enough to burn off soot in the exhaust filter or DPF. For more information on the regen process, contact your local Ditchwitch dealer. If you do not know their contact information, it can be found at www.ditchwitch.com.